What up, everybody? This is July from Kickback Couture, aka Bradley Jones, who goes to school at CU Denver. For this project, I decided to purchase a backpack full of children's instruments and I created drum sounds, percussion sounds, a couple snare sounds out of these particular children child instruments whatever you want to call them and it came out really dope so i just want to walk through the process i have a percussion loop that i cut out of the long audio track audio clip i recorded of me just messing around making noise and i've already cut it out So that was just me making a rhythmic, uh, I made a rhythm basically. So now I'm just gonna mess with it and see what I come up with. Just as an example for me creating these sounds from scratch, just so I so show some of the process. Just gonna mess with it since this is a loop, I'm gonna add halftime, try to do something crazy with it not too crazy so that if I decide to sell this I can still leave room for the producer to experiment as I am not the only one who's going to be using these sounds if I decide to sell it which I most likely will so Effectrix play with the X loop option You know what that's dope but i think i'm going to leave this up to the producer and not even touch this so the next thing i'll add is an eq because there i'll probably add some reverb first and then i'll add an eq so in terms of reverb i like fab filter pro r i don't need your help right now and i'll just mess with the presets see what car sounds like I might also want to leave this up to the producer. Closet. That just makes it sound like a low budget sound. That sounds nice. What I'm going to do is pull this mono because it's stereo and I can tell. So I'm in Reason and... I have a gate on this track so that I can't hear the background noise. And in my room, there's tons of background noise, so a gate comes in handy. Deep ambience. Alright, next, I'm gonna add the EQ. Didn't mean to do it that way. This way is much quicker. Uh, fab filter. Find the F. Pro Q2. Gonna add a low cut and I want it really steep. Like that. Just playing. I think that's that's good. Everything in this area I would consider cutting, but it adds it adds to the loop, so I would keep it. If I took it away, it wouldn't be as rhythmic. Just be flat and we love bass these days, so you can cut it out. If the producer decides to cut it out, they can cut it out. I probably won't want to make the beats. So dope.
I'm now gonna bounce this in place. And now I'm gonna normalize it so that it's at a justifiable volume when it's played back in the browser or wherever people preview their samples. And I applied a small fade to this clip so I don't need to do it here. And since I just used the slice edit mode in Reason, there's already a good amount of dead space before the sample starts so that it doesn't pop. Which is essentially what a fade is. So now I'm just gonna bounce this clip to my disc and my percussion folder that I've already created. And I'm gonna call it Harlem Shaker. Uh, keep it at 44.1 and uh, 24 bit depth and export it as a wave. And now it is in my folder right here. Cool. Right now I am slicing some hits that I got with one of the weird shakers from the little toy kit. And I just want to show a little bit of the process of what I do to slice them out. I've already sliced these two. I'm gonna edit them a little later when I finish slicing this part. So I just listen and figure out what sounds I like the best. And then I go from there. I'm gonna go with the first two. So in that case, I'll just shorten this clip. Grab the razor tool, cut, whatever. I decide to cut. And from here, split at slices. Get rid of this extra crap and pull it shorter. Turn snap off. And then I move them in a sensible spot on the grid. Turn snap back on and now I will edit those. I took a couple of the shaker sounds that I recorded and I'm going to layer them with synth, I mean, well, yeah, uh, how do you say it? Synth snares, gonna use this 808 snare from Boom 808 Percussion. It's a rack extension, and I'm just gonna tune it to my liking. I've already changed some things on it. Just wanted to show you this step in the process. Next, I'm gonna grab Stacker and layer it with the shakers I used and maybe some other sounds. All right, here I am in Stacker and um, it sucks. It's a great plugin. I just can't see the entire GUI. Why? I have no idea, but I have loaded my snare in and I tuned it and I loaded the shaker in, tuned it and picked a selection. And now what I have sounds like this. And what I'll do from here is further EQing and so on. All right, so these are the final sounds that I created using some of them a combination of synth VSTs and some of them were just purely based off of the toys and the recordings I did and just the effects I added to them. So it's on my desktop and this is going to be a part of a entire drum, drum, drum kit that I'm creating. So here's a hi-hat sound that I got from one of the little click clacker thingies. This one as well. So besides those, I got a bunch of perks. 
stick sound, triangle, triangle, shaker loop, patch it dry. Looks like I have this twice. Tambourine, potato head, wreck shaker. I just named them. Uh, kind of playing around with Toy Story so I could di differentiate. Squeeze hit. This one still needs to be edited a bit. I could still hear some noise in it. Toy Story stick. Woody shaker. And then a little hit. So I'm going to create a few beats using these sounds that I created. Those are the two snares I made. This one used one of the shaker sounds and I layered it in stacker. This one actually didn't use a single sound out of the little toy backpack thing. So I think I just got sidetracked when I made that, but oh well. So those are all the sounds I created using the little kid instruments.